Come on up, everybody. <laughs> make sure our line is not not unbalanced here. <laughs> Come on, Dom. You know football. We gotta get. Uh, 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 you guys all set? Everybody okay? Well, good morning. Uh, we're here along I-71 in Delaware County uh, with an important reminder to those traveling on our roads. Distracted driving will no longer be tolerated in the state of Ohio. Ohio's new distracted driving law that was passed last April uh, had a six month grace period. That grace period is now over. It is now illegal in most cases for anyone to use or hold an electronic wireless device such as a cell phone while they are behind the wheel. Today, beginning today, if law enforcement sees a driver distracted by their phone, that driver can now be immediately pulled over. Peace officers, police officers, and troopers no longer must wait until that individual committed a separate offense to be able to pull them over. But you know, this new law is really not about writing tickets. Uh, this new law is not about fines. What this new law is about is saving lives. We have already seen in this six month grace period that lives have been saved. And that's what the data clearly shows. So I asked the Ohio State Highway Patrol to look at the total number of distracted driving crashes every month going back to January 2018. These are just some interesting statistics. Last month, September, saw the lowest number of distracted driving crashes in almost six years. Let me repeat that. Last month, September saw the lowest number of distracted driving cra crashes in almost six years. There were 576 crashes last month compared to the stunning number of over 1,300 crashes that occurred in May 2018. Now let's compare um, just this year versus last year, year, year to date. First nine months of 2023, there were 1,255 fewer distracted driving crashes as compared to the same period in 2022. Let's look at deaths. Deaths caused by distracted driving. And these are deaths that we knew, we know were caused by distracted driving. There probably were, were, were many others, but these that we know. Deaths caused by distracted driving decreased 25%. This, this nine months versus the same time last year. Uh, 25 in 2022, 19 in 2023 for the same period of, of time, same number of days. Finally, when you compare March of 2023, which was the month before the law went into effect, to September of this year, the last month of the grace period, distracted driving crashes went down nearly 30%. And that's before a single ticket associated with this law was ever, ever issued. The law is a teacher. The law is most of us, most days, are trying to conform to what the law says. And so it sets a bar. And that's what we've seen in the last, in the last six months. That data is specific to crashes where law enforcement had evidence that distracted driving played a role. But drivers obviously don't always say that they were distracted that was the cause of the accident. So we know that this is an under underreported uh, thing. We again look back over nearly six years uh, to 2018. If you exclude April of 2020, which is, we will remember was right in, in, into the beginning really of the pandemic when we had a lot fewer people who were driving. Uh, last month again set a record. September 2023, last month, 
had the fewest overall cr crashes by far compared to every other month. There were 14,458 total crashes in September 2023. That's compared to 29,000, over double, 29,000 total crashes in January 2018. Uh, that's a difference of more than 50 percent. Comparing January through September this year to the same time period last year, there were nearly 23,000 fewer crashes overall. Tra traffic fatalities also are down over the same time period. Around two dozen fewer people were killed on Ohio's roads. Uh, the law is already saving lives. This law will continue to save lives every single day. In my State of the State speech last year, I told the state legislators that at no other time no other time in their career would they have an opportunity to pass a bill that would save so many lives. And so I want to thank the members of the General Assembly who passed this bill. It has saved lives already. I'm also grateful to every person who thought twice about picking up their phone uh, while driving over the last six months. Your actions uh, have saved lives. A recent poll conducted by the Fix Our Roads Ohio Coalition found that out of every thousand licensed Ohio drivers, 90 percent, 90 percent were aware of Ohio's new distracted driving law and 75 percent that they themselves have cut back on phone usage while driving. Um, in fact, according to Cambridge Mobile Telematics, which analyzes anonymous phone interaction data from devices that are connected to things like insurance discount programs and safety apps, the time that people were on the phone has gone down in the last, in the last six months. Again, more evidence that this, the law is a teacher and it does, in fact, make a difference. Now that the grace period is over, local law enforcement, as well as the Ohio State Highway Patrol, will have zero tolerance for those who make the choice to drive distracted. Troopers are now launching multiple new high visibility enforcement efforts to watch for people violating the new law. This will happen on various distracted driving corridors in the state, including the one on I-71 uh, behind us. Again, the goal is not to issue tickets. The goal is to save lives. Let me now go to Colonel Jones, who will tell you more. Uh, Colonel, thank you for the effort that you and the men and women of the Ohio State Highway Patrol uh, are doing every day to keep us safe. Thank you, Governor DeWine. Good morning, everyone. I'm honored to be here as we discuss the dangers of distracted driving. I have served with the Ohio State Highway Patrol for nearly 30 years and have personally witnessed on countless occasions the detrimental effects of distracted driving. We know every time someone takes their focus off the road, even for just a few seconds, they put their life and the lives of others in danger. Law enforcement officers see the deadly consequences of distracted driving on a daily basis and the tragedy that's left in its wake. More often than not, these distractions involve the use of an electronic device. I can tell you from my personal experience that notifying someone that their loved one is not coming home is never easy. We as troopers, we take it to heart. Our job every day is to ensure that motorists make it home to their families and that we make it home to ours. Distracted driving is unsafe and irresponsible, and in a split second, the consequences can be devastating. That is why distracted driving corridors like the one behind me are so important. Throughout the remainder of this year, Troopers will be committed to high visibility enforcement of Ohio's distracted driving laws, both within these corridors and on roadways across the state. However, it won't stop at the end of this year. Troopers will continue to make distracted driving violations a priority in Ohio to reduce the number of serious injury and fatal crashes on our roadways. As you all know, Effective today, enforcement of Ohio's new distracted driving law begins. Motorists may now receive a citation from Ohio's law enforcement officers if they are observed using an electronic device while they are driving. 
As a reminder, there are items that are absolutely off limits while you are driving, such as dialing a number, sending a text message, looking through social media, video calls, browsing the internet, watching videos, playing games, and recording or streaming videos. I also want to be clear with these next points because there are some exceptions to this law in which drivers may use their electronic devices while driving. Some of those exceptions ex include drivers reporting an emergency to law enforcement or similar emergency entity, drivers holding their phone to their ear only during phone conversations as long as the call is started with a single swipe or touch. Drivers holding or using cell phones or other electronic devices while stopped at a traffic light or parked on a roadway during an emergency or road closure. For a first offense of this law, a driver will receive two points on their driver's license and up to a $150 fine. However, for the first offense only, the points and fine may be waived by taking an online distracted driving course through the Ohio Department of Public Safety at no charge. These penalties associated with distracted driving follow a two-year look-back rule. What this means is that any driver who has previously committed an offense to the Ohio distracted driving law within a two-year period will incur increased penalties. Drivers with multiple distracted driving violations committed within a two-year period can expect the following penalties. For a second offense, the penalties are three points on the driver's license and up to a $250 fine. And for three or more offenses, the penalties are four points on the driver's license and up to a $500 fine. In those instances, the violator will also be subject to a possible 90-day license suspension. It's also important to note that violations of this law within a work zone will result in the fine being doubled. Like changes to impaired driving over the past couple of decades, we truly believe this new law will inevitably change behavior and the culture stigma associated with distracted driving. I am confident further strides in traffic safety will be realized this year and in the years to come. Governor DeWine, those strides will be tied directly to the assistance provided by the General Assembly in passing this important distracted driving legislation, and to you, sir, in signing the bill into law. This new law will help achieve our mutual goals of increasing traffic safety on our roads and providing law enforcement officers with the tools to help change driving behavior. That's what it's about. It's about changing driving behavior which will ultimately save countless lives on Ohio's roadways. I would now like to turn it back over to Governor DeWine. Thank you. No one has done more to make Ohioans aware of distracted driving than Dom Tiberi. Those who have lost a child spend a lifetime trying to understand it, trying to make some meaning out of it, and we never do. What Dom has done and what his family has done is taken the pain of their great loss and taken action and take an action that has already saved many lives and that in the years ahead will spare many families, many, many families from the pain and agony of losing a child or losing a loved one. Uh, so I think it is very appropriate uh, that we have Dom here today. And Dom, thank you for all that you, you and your family have done and continue to do. I never imagined 
that I'd be doing something like this. You know, I, I would much rather be talking about our Buckeye football team. But, uh, you know, it is an epidemic, and I am honored and proud to be here. I was just in Delaware, as a matter of fact, yesterday with the police chief over there. We did Maria's message at Delaware Hayes. It was our 154th presentation. Uh, over 130,000 kids have now heard the message. As the governor said, uh, my wife and I's foundation, we uh, originally put 54 simulators around the state of Ohio, primarily with police departments. And now we have opened three simulator labs. Uh, we have one at Tolls. We have one at uh, Eastland Fairfield. We have one at Fort Hayes. Six and a half, seven hours of training for children, uh, 16 different lesson plans, and, and that will continue. I believe our mission is changing the culture. There's no question in my mind that this new law will save lives. It, every state that has enacted this has seen a significant decrease in serious crashes and a serious decrease in deaths. We need to change the culture and make people understand that distracted driving is dangerous driving. When I was a kid, nobody wore seatbelts. Now you don't think twice about it, and that is what we need to do with this distracted driving epidemic, as I call it. Make no mistake about it, while this law will save lives, and it already has, we cannot write our way out of this with tickets. We all need to do better. As parents and grandparents, we need to set a better example for our children. It remains the leading killer of the age group 2 to 24. And to me, as parents and grandparents, we should be screaming that in the United States of America, that is not acceptable. You know, the statistics don't lie. But you must remember, every statistic has a name. Every statistic has a family. There is nothing I can do to bring Maria back. Believe me, if there was, I would. There's nothing the governor can do to bring his beautiful child back. So we fight. That's what I do. I fight. And I'm fighting to save lives. And this bill will save lives. I commend the governor. I thank the governor for his leadership and his determination in getting this law passed. And we will change the culture. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lamont Shelton, and I'm the transportation manager at Ohio Department of Transportation. Uh, this distract, distractive driving law will, it's a big concern for us there at the garage. Um, we deal with this daily. We are working right out here on 71, and we set up signs, we wear high vis uniforms, and the distractive driving is the problem that we have because first thing they say is they didn't see our signs and when there's near misses that's the first thing they say is we didn't see you well most of the time it's because they're on their phones so this distractive driving law will help save a lot of people's lives we all just want to make it home home safe to our families uh, part of my job is to make it safe for the public to make it safe to their destination. So that's my job to do. And if Ohio would just put their phones down and keep out looking out for us, we would greatly appreciate it. We all want to get home. I'm Andy Wilson, director of the Ohio Department of Public Safety. Good morning. Today truly is a historic day in the effort to save lives on Ohio's roadways. Drivers who are caught using or holding a cell phone or other electronic wireless devices while operating a motor vehicle will be pulled over and will now face consequences for this dangerous behavior. The enforcement of this new distracted driving law will save lives and it will keep your family, my family, and all of us 
safer on Ohio's roads and highways. Back in April, our mission was to ensure that drivers knew the changes to Ohio's distracted driving law and that they followed them. And I, I want to acknowledge the Ohio Traffic Safety Office, the Ohio Department of Transportation, and the Ohio State Highway Patrol for their hard work over the last six months to help educate our drivers about how this law will affect them. We know saving lives on our roads requires really three things. It requires strong laws, it requires public education, and it requires enforcement of those laws. Thanks to the Ohio legislature, we, legislature, we now have stronger distracted driving laws here in Ohio. And today, after six months of education and warnings, we now have the very crucial enforcement piece. It's time for drivers to commit to changing their behavior and to put their phones away while they're behind the wheels. No more texting, no more emails, no more selfies, no more scrolling while you're driving. Remember, as our campaign states, phones down, it's the law. Today, we're also announcing a new updated media campaign with the goal of encouraging drivers to put their phones down. Ohioans will soon see TV ads and social media ads with a reminder that you should never use your phone when you're behind the wheel. As the Colonel said, this campaign is focused on changing behavior and raising awareness that enforcement is now in effect and fines start at $150. Fines and points will increase for any subsequent offense and they will double if you commit this offense in a work zone where our workers are keeping our roads so that we can drive on. The consequences for distracted driving go far beyond just getting a ticket and having to pay a fine. Every time you pick up that phone when you're driving, you could potentially cause a wreck. You could potentially cause a crash. When you do that, you put yourself at risk, you put your passengers at risk, you put everyone around you at risk for serious harm and potentially death. As Governor DeWine mentioned, we are encouraged by the new telematics data that shows that Ohio's strengthening distracted driving law is already making a positive impact on our roadways. The numbers show that Ohio drivers are now spending less time handling their phones while driving, and that's just since the new law went into effect in April, on April 4th. This shows that drivers are beginning to change their behavior without penalties being applied. Look, there's still more work to do, but we expect an even bigger drop now that citations are going to be issued. And we expect an a bigger drop in this behavior now that more educational messaging is going to be available to drivers. The goal is always for drivers to put their phones down for the entire time that they're behind the wheel because there is no level of acceptable distracted driving. In the next few weeks and months, our traffic safety office will be working with 45 safe community programs across the state, including one here in Delaware County. These programs work to spread the word and inform drivers about the risks that come with distracted driving. These are community-based programs. These programs are critical to saving lives and reducing injuries on our roads, and they work through collaboration with state, county, and local partners. We must continue to work together to make our roads safer for all drivers, all passengers, all pedestrians, all motorcyclists, and all of our roadside workers. We simply cannot lose another life to distracted driving. It's preventable, and there's no excuse for it. Governor, we thank you for your leadership on this issue, and we stand ready to put your vision into, into motion. Thank you. We're happy to take questions. More about the enforcement measures. I mean, if you pull someone over, for example, they say, no, my phone wasn't in my hand. So, you know, anytime uh, our troopers or law enforcement officers uh, make stops and distracted driving violations are no different, you know, they always make sure that they've got the elements of that particular offense. You know, they've got to be able to go into to court 
and be able to prove that that offense and violation did indeed occur. So uh, our troopers know that. They know uh, what, what metrics they need to hit to be able to prove that that motorist uh, indeed committed that offense. Uh, and I'm confident that they, that they will do that. So um, they, they know, you know, they know the elements uh, and what they need to do. Well, it, it's, it's all about the elements in the law is what I'm, what I'm talking about. So you know, we know what drivers can and cannot do, and it's up to the troopers or the law enforcement officers to be able to prove that indeed you know, what they saw or what they observed uh, was indeed what happened. Uh, so they go in and, and they testify to that if need be uh, in the court, but it's about making sure that the specific violations that, that were mentioned here uh, that those elements are being met, uh, and, and quite honestly, if the elements aren't met, then, then our troopers aren't making the stops. You know, you, you can't make the stops if the elements aren't there. So. Let, let, let me just add something to, to that. The success of this law will not be measured by the number of tickets issued. The success of this law will be measured by the number of fewer crashes and the fewer lives that are lost. That's how we will measure whether this has been a success or whether it's not a success. It's already been a success. We are, have every confidence it's going to be a success. But the success is not measured by how many tickets are written. The success is measured by lives saved. Who else? So let, let me, I'm a former prosecutor, so let, let me give you a, a prosecutor's view on it. Look, every one of you in here, when, or out here today, and all of your viewers, when you've been driving down the road at some point, you've seen a car swerving, not driving in their lane, not doing what they should be doing. And when you pull up next to that car, you pass that car, you've seen somebody holding a, a phone up, watching a movie, doing something that they should be doing, paying attention to that phone. That's the same that's the same thing our troopers and our officers are going to do. And they're going to come into a court and they're going to articulate exactly what they saw. If, if you're holding that phone up and you're watching a video, you clearly didn't one swipe. Look, like the Colonel said, like the Colonel said, if the elements aren't there, we're, we're not going to issue a citation. It's going to be pretty easy. Uh, and again, you can apply your own experiences on the highway. It's going to be pretty easy to tell who's driving distracted and meet those elements sufficient to issue a ticket. Well, the, the question is, is there anything we'd like to see different in the law? Uh, look, I, th I think we, like all laws, you, you let it kind of play out for a while, and then you determine if there's in inequities in the law, if there's something that's not working in the law. So we're, we're gonna look at this one just like we look at anything else that is passed. Um, you know, I don't anticipate there'll be something, but there, but there certainly may be. And the experience of motorists and the experience of, of, of troopers and the sheriffs and, and the police departments, that will give us a pretty good indication if there's some tweak that needs to be made, you know, in this particular law. Anybody else? Reaction to uh, the TRO being extended on the question is, do I have any uh, reaction to the uh, temporary restraining order being extended? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, look, I, I think this is something that we leave to the, to the lawyers. Uh, I think trying to uh, minimize the number of comments we make about a particular lawsuit. Uh, the only thing that I will, I will say is that moving forward is important. Uh, and having a resolution to this, and I think that, you know, the, the children of the state deserve to have this matter resolved, and we need to, we need to move on. But the court, the court will work its way through. Uh, this is the way our judicial system works, and we, we respect that system. Anybody else? Okay. Thanks, everybody.